Oh my okay. goodness. I'm gonna just I... <laughs> okay, the, the beginning of it just made me giggle so much. I was like, oh, this is gonna be a good movie. <laughs> yeah, so when I was when I was doing like the ADR stuff, the looping, um, yeah. to fix my performance, uh, I was I was laughing too. That that opening is so funny. It's great. I know. Yeah. I know. I'm like, okay, this is gonna be good because they know how to make fun of themselves. And yeah, it's funny. I was crying. I'm like, wait, I can't cry. I gotta take the emotion out because I <laughs> had my makeup done. I'm like, okay, I can't cry at this point. I gotta keep moving. <laughs> well, you know what? I'm glad there to know you that you I, I am glad to know that you laughed and cried because you know that's what you want. You want people to experience the emotions of a great story. And totally. just by you saying that, that, I mean, that tells me and Joe that totally. uh, we're on the right track, I would think. Yeah, yeah my husband <laughs> yeah. asked me, he said, what was the number one takeaway? And I said, my hope and prayer is that when people watch this movie, that they say um, they can take a stand and do something that God is calling them to do. And average Joe can do what he's been called to do. And so can every single one of us. So that was my number one takeaway. I hope other people are inspired like that as well. Well, you know, Very it's pretty cool. interesting we, we... to consider. Go ahead, Joe. Go ahead. I was just going to say, we watched it in front of all the investors and, um, and their wives and kids. And they, they were, they were laughing, they were crying, they were cheering. We got three cheers and then everybody clapped at the end. So I, I, I was very uplifted for that. Your job is yeah, done. That's better, that's better than everybody walking out in silence. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> they are not going to be doing that. Uh, it's such a privilege to have both of you here just to be able to look at both of you and be like, wow, this is an inspiring movie that everybody needs to watch. Average Joe comes out in theaters October 11th. We're so thankful that both of you are committed to this movie. Uh, Joe Kennedy, you are the one this entire movie is about. I can't wait for you to share what it's all about. And Eric Close, you're here with us. You're the actor who portrays Joe Kennedy, even though you guys don't look alike, that's okay. It doesn't matter. We're so thankful. You guys just made this amazing movie. Joe, why don't you kick it off and tell us what it's all about? Yeah, I I, I think it's really a, a love story between um, me, my wife, my God, and my country. And it really, hopefully, just inspires a lot of people to that anybody, I mean, just the average guy like me, you know, can do something, make a difference in, in the world. And if we just stand up and do what's right, we, we, we can do amazing things. It's so true. I think about in the movie, you talk about being a fighter and so many people are now benefiting from you fighting. I'm so thankful this movie is coming out for others to see what it takes for their freedom. So thank you for doing this. It's funny. You say it's a love story and I'm like, yeah, and it's a story about fighting. <laughs> so we've got both <laughs> sides of it. Yeah. So good. <laughs> Yeah, you know, you as know people, it's not lost to me, Joe, that you also served our country. And so thank you for that. You know, it's not just, you know, I think you, you, you say it in the movie. I mean, that you've been fighting your whole life. I remember that was a line I have in the movie. Um, and for different, for different reasons, sometimes it's fighting for your life, um, your freedom, your marriage, yeah. for God, you know, your friendships. So good. Eric, you're a wildly successful, accomplished actor and director with so many accolades, award-winning. You're known for starring in Nashville, American Sniper, Suits. You have so many amazing features that you've been in. Okay, so I really want to know, how did you land the role portraying Joe? Well, uh, <clears throat> I, I remember it quite well. The, the audition came my way, and I read the script, and... And I said, oh, I, I, I want to do this. I want to play this role, but I had to earn it. You know, I, there was several other people they were considering. And um, I, you know, I know I had several meetings with Harold Cronk, the, the director and the producers. Um, I'm sure Joe had some input <laughs> and it was, uh, you know, I, I'm, I'm a sucker for redemption stories, and and this is definitely a redemption story. Knowing Joe's Joe and Denise's story and Joe's story as a child, you know, from his childhood, and so um, you know, it was just one of those 
opportunities that came my way. And I just, you know, I was like, okay, God, if this is in your will, make it happen. And it happened. And, and next thing I knew I was off to New Orleans to shoot this movie. Yeah. It was so well done. The production, the direction, the videography, the photography, the music, all beautifully, so well done. So thank you, Eric, for your contribution to that. Um, yeah, you know, I was going to tell you, we don't, you know, you said we don't look alike, but I don't know if Joe, re you remember this, but when we got, when I got the set, I had a, I had a goatee because I wanted to have that cool beard he has. <laughs> and they, and they were like, well, you know, we're kind of bouncing back between when he's, you know, you're younger and older and yeah. it's going to be difficult to kind of put the beard on and take it off and put and so unfortunately, because I think he looks really cool and I thought I would look cool with the beard, but didn't happen. It got I vetoed. just wanted you to get that really tight haircut, man. I knew you didn't go for that. <laughs> you it's didn't try for that one, Eric? Day. <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome. Eric, I'm sure you two have now built some type of relationship as you have prepared for shooting this film. How has that impacted you personally, getting to know the Joe Kennedy? Well, um, yeah, first of all, I'm, you know, I'm, I didn't know if we were going to meet, you know, when you go on the set, sometimes you don't get a chance, especially when you're doing a, a real life story. Um, and I had read Joe's book prior to going down to shoot the movie. And I was incredibly inspired by his, his courage um, and his willingness to sacrifice, you know, his personal comforts and his livelihood um, to fight for something he believed in. And I was hoping I'd get the opportunity to meet him. You know, um, Joe never really sought to be a hero. He's just felt this is his calling. This is his duty. And um, what I'm a big advocate for marriage. Uh, my wife and I just are sell it. We're getting close to celebrating our 30th wedding anniversary. But I just love how Joe and Denise fought for because they had challenges in their past in marriage, you know but that they fought so hard for the, for this relationship that, that, and just against all odds. And so that was inspiring to me as too. And the other thing I loved is the, the giving back that you guys did with the kids on the team, you know, which I, what I loved about this, what I loved about this story was that you weren't really a football guy. You're like, you know, the whole thing I knew about <laughs> football is in the Marines is us just playing, you know, throwing the, the ball around and getting some broken bones but they saw in you this character of they wanted some discipline. They wanted some structure with this team. And you came in and you just didn't bring that, but you also brought love to these kids who probably didn't get it anywhere else. And that to me was, that to me was inspiring. Um, just how you gave back and, and it thought more about the interests of others and not just about yourself, yeah. you know? So good. Joe, do you, when we watch the movie, we're like, oh, you're a fighter. You're going to make it happen. You never doubted. You never slowed down. Do you feel like that's how you just live your life in all ways, in all aspects? I'm sorry. You got to repeat that one. It froze on you. Oh, <laughs> uh, so I was just asking you that... I, I see you as such a fighter. Like you never doubted, you never backed down. You're you're going to the Supreme Court. It's like, yes, we're doing this. We're moving forward. We're moving forward. Do do you do that in all aspects of life, or do you feel like um, it was like this one thing that really uh, you were called to do and to be faithful to God? No, you, I think you nailed it on on the previous set. It's absolutely the way that I am. I, I have a set of principles. I might not have the best uh, morals or standards or anything like that. And I, I lived as a sinner most of my life. I, I mean, a total heathen. And the, the, But I always fought for what I thought was right. And I will always do that. I will die on a hill over something the, like this. This was something... In, in the grand scheme of life, this was so trivial. This was a 30 second prayer on a football field, but I was willing to. Everything up for it. my marriage team. That was the hardest one was my team uh, losing all of that over something, but it was the right thing to do. And 
I couldn't be a football. I mean, I couldn't be a coach at all. I wouldn't have been a good husband. I wouldn't have been a good father. There's no way I could have been anything if I would have given in and just back down because I tell my guys, Hey, I don't care if your boo boo hurts, rub some dirt on it, get back in the game and give it your all until there's nothing left. And all of a sudden, if it became, you know, tough for me, what am I going to do? Just quit and give up. No, I had to be that, that leader of example. And I, I just hope that uh, all my players and everybody in America could see that. And I think Eric did a fantastic job of nailing it. I mean, of all the people, and I'll just say this. So we, Eric and I sat down uh, for lunch uh, right at the very beginning. I think it was day one. And he says, I need to get to know you and your, your, you know, your character. He spent about, I don't know, 15, 20 minutes with me because ah, I think I got you figured out. See, that's how simple I am. And he just nailed it. So, that's so good. Just blessed. That is so, so not, cool. So not true. <laughs> <laughs> so were Joe, were you on set during the recording of this movie at all? Yeah, I was out there for the first uh, few days and then they started getting into a bunch of real personal stuff that I went through, you know, as a kid and the boys home and my, my parents and stuff. I, there's no way I, I could stay on set for that. We, my wife and I, we got really emotional. Um, we both were on the set and when it came to those really tough things, we, we just couldn't witness it. It was just so hard. And then we were there at the, at the end to see Eric really closing it up and the way that his his character, even the way he speaks and in the attitude and everything, I mean, just totally adopted it. And all, especially during the football stuff, I could not sit there for the football stuff. I don't know how he did that, but I I would have been a mess if I had to sit there and and watch my my team like like he did and out there coach. to the kids and encouraging them there's no so just just a little bit here and there as much as i could stand yeah that's so good eric i think about you acting through this whole film how has this grown your faith well that's a good question um i think uh you know life life uh for all of us can be challenging. You know, Joe brought up being self-deprecating, joking about being, you know, a, a heathen or a sinner. We we all fall short of God's glory. We all we all mess up, but we're all kind of running this race and trying to attain that that wreath at the end of, you know, hey, well done, good and faithful servant, you know, even though we we struggle. And um to see someone who is willing to put it all on the line um self-sacrifice uh, it strengthens your courage and your resolve and your and your faith because faith is that it's a sur faith is a surrender in a sense um and so i you know that this story reminds me to when when you're facing adversity um but you're holding on to your convictions that matters more mm -hmm. um I sent an encouraging message to a friend the other day on Facebook and just, I just said to him, he was making a comment about do, do all nice guys finish last or something. And I said, Hey, just keep being the nice guy. Cause that's treasure in heaven. You know, Amen. Um, the other thing I wanted to point out is that uh, <clears throat> you, and I think Joe, you would agree with me. We can't go it alone. You took this stand but you had people rally around you, your wife, starting first with your wife and and then your team, um, um, even the kids. Uh, there were people that rallied around you to help you stay the course. And I think it's so important in in life that we have a support. We cannot go it alone. We're not an island. And that was another message I saw in this film is that you know, it, it, you know, it took a team of people to help you across the finish line there. Oh, even more than that, I, you really nailed that when we had the conflict between me and my wife and the team and, and the coaches. And I mean, it makes my hair stand up and I have a hard time talking about it, but you, you nailed that so well that 
that when the world's coming against you, that you do have people that show up uh, like Ben in the movie, he shows up and yeah. just, con- I mean, it, that's the way life has been is that God sends somebody right at the right time and shows up. He might not show up when we want him to, obviously, but when we need him, he absolutely is there every single time. Yeah. Joe, I really loved how your wife was shown as this solid rock for you. She doubted she had some difficulties. Yes. And just being a leader of women um, in women's ministry, I was like, go Denise. Yes. (laughs) That's exactly what you need to be for Joe. Um, How has this film, just this entire process, you write the book, you have a movie made of you. How has this film uh, brought you and Denise even closer together? Yeah, well, yeah, we had ups and downs, obviously. I mean, you saw the movie and you know the ups and downs that we had. And But ever since um, we really focused on God and we both came together, that we've been inseparable. And she's she's my my grounding rod. I mean, I, I screw up every single day and she's the one who constantly reminds me. She's in prayer. She's in the word every day. And I'm just out there acting like a schmuck. And but <laughs> our, our marriage, I think, I think is just it's so awesome now because we, we every time we see this and we see um the trailers and we talk about it, it just shows how much have we been through in our life and how much God has blessed us from day one. And it really puts those puzzle pieces together where you know God has been there the entire time and that we are inseparable and just like uh Eric, man, I, I swear you should have been married to Amy in that movie because you guys talk about the chemistry. I, you nailed it every single time. The the humor, the the hurt, everything was just so real for us. And I think you just did the most incredible job of being true to who Denise and I are. And man, we were blessed. I, I couldn't ask for a better person. They're not in a million years. Well, thank you. Thank you, Joe. And yeah, it was Amy made it very easy. She's a great actress. And uh, she just was, she was invested in, in her role and our time together. We took time to get to know each other. You know, it's a big part of when you're working with somebody, especially when you have to be married, you need to, you need your, the trick is making it look like you've been together for a long time. So that was, it, it was just a pleasure to work with her on that film and and she brought like like you said a lot of strength to that character um but still supporting joe in this in this journey um so i was i was definitely uh that was a lot of fun to to work with amy yeah she did a phenomenal job um i just always love to remind our audience that if we want to have more faith film because we're fans of faith films We want to have more of these amazing films that you guys have now um, completed and we are about ready to premiere October 11th. We want to have more of them. We have to go opening weekend, if not opening night of the film. And I just so encourage people get out there, go buy your tickets now. Uh, You can go to averagejoemovie.com and grab your ticket. You will not regret it. From the start of the movie, I'm giggling. Like, I'm not really a giggler. That's not something I would normally say. But the opening scene of the movie, I was like, oh, this is going to be good. (laughs) What are each of your uh, favorite scenes in the movie? Eric, do you want to get started with that? Oh, boy, put me on the spot. Um, (laughs) I'm glad you went with him. (laughs) Yeah. (laughs) there there uh, There was a number of really fun moments i don't know if they've all made it into the movie but uh one of them that i really enjoyed the one that made me laugh and i don't want to give it away because i want people to experience it the first time they see the movie but was when joe and his buddy and their kids get into a fight at the beginning of the movie and how the neighbor deals with them fighting on the ground (laughs) that is i think that's what you're talking about i was rolling it it was laughing so hard i also love the uh the grocery cart scene when I take the guys for a training run and we, you know, and get into the, our shenanigans with the, with the shopping carts, super fun. Um, fun. And even, even the end of the movie and having pizza with, uh, you know, Joe and Denise in the front yard is really, it's <laughs> wacky, wacky and fun. Um, 
And so, I mean, there's, I was telling some guys this morning, I just said, there is, Harold did a great job and the writers, Stephanie and Harold, as they put this movie together, they, they brought out the humor, which is so important, you know, and then, and that's why I want people to go away from this movie, just feeling good, going, wow, that was such a, an emotional roller coaster, And I, I feel so good at the end of this movie and I feel inspired and yes. just to be a better person. Absolutely. Those were all great. I mean, just laugh after laugh after laugh. Yeah. I'm like, oh, this is such a good movie. We're all going to go see this again and again. I can't wait to see you for the red carpet premiere. We all get to watch it together. It's going to be so much fun. Yes. Uh, Joe, what's your favorite scene? God, I knew you were going to ask me that. I was hoping you were going to forget that part. <laughs> <laughs> you had time to think I, of something too. <laughs> I know, but it, it, I mean, you know, it's my life, and it was so. That was the most amazing thing. It was so close to our life. It, they didn't they vary from it at all. Sitting down and, and talking with the atheist, um, you know, I mean that that happened right there in the diner. I mean, you guys were so incredible with it. It's so hard. I, I think, you know, the the chasing the camel thing was was one of my favorites because it's a favorite one in, in my mind that actually we experienced the shopping cart, obviously, that the kids still talk about that. That's a legendary thing. And uh, but I m me personally, I think the best part was watching um, Denise go through her battle and how they intertwined uh, our story and their story that everybody has a battle and that even though you could be a million miles apart and you could go through completely different battles that you could all come together and you have one thing in common. And if you put, you know, press into God, the most amazing things can happen. So I, I, I can't pick a, a best part because Eric and uh, Austin who played me as a Marine and uh, Oh, what was the kid's name? Ezra. Oh, matter of fact, we're meeting with Ezra and the other one this weekend. What? Annabelle. And Annabelle, we're meeting with them this weekend. Um, they have a special relationship now. Look what she started, Eric. <laughs> That's great. That's Thanks so for the cool. That's so <laughs> great. Well, this story just inspires me so much, Joe, that we can all take a stand for what God is asking us to do, to surrender our own will, or our own ways, and do the things that he's asking us to do. So thank you for taking a stand and doing what God was asking you to do. You know, I just encourage all of us listeners to be praying alongside you and the entire crew, the production, everyone, that we can all be praying alongside you for the impact that this can make on the kingdom. I just encourage each of us to pray that this movie will do what God has um, has set for it to do, that his plans will be um, put into play, that we all take a stand and do the things that God's asking us to do. Eric, thank you for committing to such an important movie. Thank you. Thank you. It was an honor. Joe, thank you for being a fighter. I love that. Every time we yeah. see a team praying <laughs> on the field from this point forward, we can say thank you, Joe Kennedy, for persevering. Thank you for being I, obedient I, to what God was calling you I, to do. I love that part. I get people that send me pictures every single season of teams praying from the professionals down to peewees and I mean, it just warms my heart and just knowing that that other people are out there doing the right thing. Yeah. Thank and, you, you know, thank you. you know, one thing I want to say about that is that there was no there was no selfishness in those prayers. It was the losing team and the winning team coming together. And it was it was more about just honoring and saying, thank you, Lord, for protecting us during the game and just for the privilege to come out here and play. And um that was that was really cool. There wasn't one of these things like, "Hey, give us the win, give us the W." It wasn't about that. Yeah. Uh, I was creating unity or, or being preachy because I would have screwed no. that up trying to do a Bible verse. <laughs> I would have messed that up. No, it was just just heartfelt prayers and just I I just found that amazing that and hopefully that continues because it's it doesn't it's it's not it's not there to hurt people. It's to include and welcome. Amen. You know. Amen. Share the love. Share the love of God. That's right. Go see Average Joe opening October 11th, averagejoemovie.com. Buy your tickets today. Take all your friends. This is an amazing movie to take your friends, your family. doesn't matter if they're Christian or not. Just go and have a wonderful family night um, celebrating the love of God and take a stand for what God is asking you to do personally in your own life.
thank you for being on. Thank you. You're awesome.